Cross over now to Mwiki where Mary Muyoki is standing by. Mary, what is happening there? Good afternoon to you, Vicky and Trevor. We are camped right now at uh, St. Dominic's Primary School in Mwiki in Kasarani constituency. And um, the queues, the turnout is looking pretty impressive. Um, we have queues outside winding up to, you know, about a kilometer long. You know, there's, it's been peaceful where we are. There's, we've not witnessed any incidences of violence or rowdiness among the voters. Uh, we've done a few spot checks also uh, from, you know, a few polling stations in Kasarani region. We've been to Sieko. We've also been to uh, Clay City. And one thing that has been coming out strongly across all the centers we've visited is that, you know, every almost every polling station is reporting a challenge with their kin's kit, you know, and they are having to resort to the manual register. Now, I am joined by Honorable Masi Gakuyo, who's the sitting MP for this region. She just, for this constituency rather, she just cast her vote. And maybe she can tell us what she thinks about the voter turnout and, uh, you know, whether it's peaceful, whether she's had any incidences of violence uh, from, uh, from her area. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much, Citizen TV. Today is a big day for all of us, especially to the nation of Kenya. And as we look forward for peace, because without peace there is nothing we can be able to do or to move on. Kasarani, basically, I would say the, turn the turnout has been relatively good, but not as compared, uh, because I've participated, this is my third, uh, since 2013, 2017, and now 2022. Uh, people are many, but it's maybe because at least per stream or per polling station, at least the number is not as huge as it was uh, during those other years. So we would say that before the close of the day, at least, we hope majority will, ha would ha will have voted. And we just pray God at least, even after that, we look forward for peace. Because in everything we say peace is everything. Because if there is peace in the country, we can be able to move on with our life. And, and at least there will be, everybody will be happy, uh, the winner and the loser. And we look forward for sobriety from all the corners, from all the circles, uh, because we only have one Kenya. Yes. What is your message to Kenyans who are still at home and maybe saying the queues are, are too long, I don't think I can manage? Uh, I would say basically, if you are patriotic and if you, you truly love your country, it's always good to participate and you get out and vote. And I know, even if maybe the weather is not that, uh, that it's not it's not hot, it's not cold. We just hope it's not about the weather, or maybe even maybe people have travelled. But wherever somebody is, it is good to make sure that you participate and you cast your vote. You make the right and the correct decision because it is only done after every five years, because it is done within few minutes, and then you are left five years trying maybe to say it was supposed to be this or it was supposed to be that. So we look forward, especially from this great constituency of Nairobi, that is Kasarani, which happens to be the largest in the city. And we are hopeful that the turnout will be good because we still have some more hours remaining uh, before it is, uh, it is closed at 6. So we just hope uh, Kasarani will be able to deliver a good turnout. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. So, Vicky, as you can see, we I think we are panning to the crowd. And yesterday there was a conflicting message from the Ministry of Health saying that any voter who shows up without a mask will not be allowed to vote. But contrary to that, a lot of the voters, as you can see, do not have face masks on. And they're being allowed to vote. You know, like um, IABC chair was saying that any Kenyan who shows up and they are registered to vote in that center and they have the required documents will be allowed to vote. So it seems Chebukati carried the day. Voters are being allowed to vote despite not having uh, face masks. This is one of the largest polling um, centers in Kasarani, we have about 11,500 registered voters here at St. Dominic. And we have um, 
you know, we, we spoke to a few of the presiding officers and they're saying they do not think that they will be able to, you know, they will not close at the required time. Yes, voting will close at six, but there will still be a lot of people outside who will not have cast their vote. It seems everyone in this polling station actually turned up to vote and that's a good thing. Back to you, Vicky. All right, great. Thank you so much, Mary Mwoki from Mwiki, giving us an update there. And